NFL Imperialism Simulated by Retro Bowl. Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I have what might be my most ambiguous video idea. We are going to be simulating NFL Imperialism through the game of Retro Bowl. So basically how this works is I have a map that contains the location of every single NFL team. Before every single game, I'm going to spin a spinner to see which team will be playing and then in which direction with my arrow spinner they're going to be traveling. So for example, if the spinner lands on Texans and the arrow is in this direction, the Texans will be trying to conquer whatever is. This is about northwest of what they are. And they will go against the team that is in the northwest direction of them. If there's an open state, then it's a free capture and there's no game needed to be played. But if there is an enemy's territory right next to them, those two will face off and capture each other's territories. Huge shout out to Bangle, Bordeaux, Dean's World. They've all made this imperialism video idea before me. But I've seen nobody make one for the game of Retro Bowl, and everybody loves a good game of Retro Bowl. So I decided to try it out here. With the Retro Bowl's new update that is upcoming, you can actually play it right now on Pokey.com. It allows you to do an exhibition game, as you can see on the screen. You get to pick two teams of your choice to go against each other, so it's not like you have to play a Retro Bowl season and wait until those teams verse against each other. You finally can choose what teams go against each other. Also, each team has their own star rating that is actually based off of the current NFL, so as you can see, Eagles have a great offense, a great defense, same with 49ers. And then on the AFC side, you have the Bills, the Bengals, and the Chiefs, all with the highest ratings. So the team talent will be very similar to what we see in today's NFL. One extra rule I'm adding is the dominance rule. If a team wins a match by 30 points or more, they also get to take over one additional territory that is next to them. Just because if they win a battle so emphatically, that army obviously has a lot of firepower and they deserve to claim another territory. So enough of me rambling, let's go see what matchups we encounter and who will be the last team standing in NFL imperialism. So first team, let's see what we get. Spinner, who will the spinner choose? And we have the San Francisco 49ers will be our first team. Arrow spin in which direction? The arrow looks like it's kind of southeast around. What do we have on the map here? It looks like they'll be going against the Los Angeles Rams in our first game. So let's get straight into that matchup. Okay, the first game of the video, San Francisco versus the Rams. Here we go. One thing worth noting is that the new update does not contain an actual visual representation of the game. It is this kind of simulation style. You can't actually see the players playing, which kind of stinks. But at the same time, Retro Bowl just does not have that update in it yet. Obviously, if they do add it in at some point, I will definitely remake the video. It'll be slightly more entertaining. The San Francisco does score the first points of the game, but they miss the extra point. They do get a defensive stop, but they fumble, and the Rams have possession. And the Rams missed as well. It is tied 6-6. Six six. They're driving. Here it goes. Good 9-6. Rams run. Another stop by San Francisco, and that is the end of the first half. Another fumble. San Francisco going the other way. Throws an interception. This game is a... another fumble. Dude, this game has been defensive. Giving up the ball, and they just gave it up again. Interception by San Francisco. They score again. They blow out the Rams this game, and that will do it. Our first game. Rams, 6, 49ers, 23. So after that very wonky defensive battle that we had for our first game, the 49ers will be taking over the Rams territory. So now you guys can probably see how this challenge is going to work. It's just going to keep going until there's only one team remaining and so far the 49ers are dominating let's see what the next team is that will be conquering we have the kansas city chiefs and it's time to see what direction they will be trying to manifest their destiny looks like northeast here to the northeast of kansas city we have the chicago bears so let's go into that matchup real quick we have our second matchup of the day. Will Chicago be able to defend their territory or will Kansas City pillage Chicago? We will see. I noticed in the last clip that the, the sound effects in this game are very loud, so I'll try to be talking around the touchdowns. If I'm talking during the touchdowns, you guys will not be able to hear me. 
Because it's like a loud ah type thing. You'll see what I mean. You barely can hear me right now. Chief, do See, you probably barely heard me there. So I'm gonna try to talk my way around these scores. Six nothing, Chiefs. What can Chicago do? They score a touchdown, taking the lead by one point. Chiefs managed to kick in a field goal. Chicago going the other way really quickly. And they go for two. Very petty of Chicago to do that. 15 to nine. Will Kansas City score before the half? It looks like they will. Yeah, touchdown with two seconds left in the half, and they tie the game up. Kansas City defense making a stop, trying to avoid the upset here. Yet another score from Kansas City. Chicago's going down the opposite way. They managed to get points, but not enough. Kansas City could really add to this lead here. They do, they're up by 11. And the quarterback is sacked on fourth down. That's gonna do the game. What looked like it was gonna be a close game is now a blowout, and Kansas City will be advancing their territory northeast. So we just saw a very convincing win from Kansas City as they will now be taking the Chicago Bears territory. Bears looked like they might have been due for an upset, but later on, reality set in as they kept turning the ball over and Kansas City just capitalized. We are in for another matchup. And we have Philadelphia. Let's see which direction Philadelphia will be trying to conquer. And it looks like it is going to be close to the west, a little bit east. We're going to say that that's New York Jets territory. We're going to have an Eagles-Jets match right here. We have our third game of the day here. Let's see what will happen. The attacking team has won every single game. Can the Jets pull off the upset here against the Philadelphia Eagles? Can they defend their territory? Eagles score a touchdown first. Jets try to respond. Jets managed to take the lead with that extra point. Once again, guys, I'm trying to talk away from the scores because I do like to have the sound effects on, but they're so loud. Holy moly. Eagles go for two to make it a full touchdown lead, and they successfully do that. Jets driving. Jets respond. This could be a game, ladies and gentlemen. Jets have the ball, too. They're in winning position right now. And the Jets have a lead in the third, along with an interception. They only managed to get a field goal off of that turnover, but they still have a solid six-point lead. Philly is going to take that lead back, and the Jets will punt. Huge Philadelphia stop here. Can the Jets force overtime? Philly has an eight-point lead. Fumble. That's going to do the game. Huge Jets fumble ends the Jets' hopes for conquering any more territory. The Philadelphia Eagles now own that New York territory. So as you can see, Philadelphia has taken over the Jets' land. Huge win, very close game, closest game of the video so far. But that Jets fumble was crucial, cementing the game for Philadelphia. I actually thought that the Jets had that game on lock for a second. But of course, it's the Jets. They'll find a way to screw it up in the long run. Let's see what team we'll have next in this challenge. The spinner's been nice to us so far, giving us some high-level teams. We are probably due for a bad team here. Seahawks, not bad. Let's see what direction they're going to be going. I think whatever direction they go, it does not really matter. We're going to spin the arrow again because there is nothing west of Seattle. We're going to spin it again. And uh, we'll go with just south territory here. Obviously, there's no team there, but they will be taking care of Oregon. Oregon is free territory that Seattle... Oregon is free territory that Seattle will gladly take its land for more resources, kind of expanding their empire here in the northwest corner of the United States. If you're a Seattle fan, you have to be happy with the amount of space that is around Seattle. They have some space to expand and conquer. And they don't really have to worry about any matchups for a bit. So that's some good news for any Seattle fans out there. But they're really starting to take a lot of this west coast. There's a lot of gold there. 
I'm just being a geography nerd right now, guys. Sorry. But, hey, honestly, Seattle's in a great position for this challenge because look at all the open states they have behind them. Let's go back to our spinner. What is next, spinner? Give us something good here. We have the Miami Dolphins. Surely they'll be going up against somebody. Arrow, where will you guide them? No team. They are literally the most southern. Okay, yep. Let's spin the arrow again. <laughs> arrow says northeast. Well, they'll have to go against Tampa inevitably, so we might as well just face them off there. Miami versus Tampa. Miami is invading the land of Tampa Bay. So far, the attacking team has won every single game. Can Tom Brady defend his land? If anybody can do it, it's Tom Brady. Tom with a quick answer here. Can Tua respond back, or will he turn to Balova? He does respond back with a field goal. But Tom Brady, man, driving. And even at the age of 59, he can still do it. Tua does respond with a two-point conversion. It will be Miami's ball to start off the third. They could take the lead here with this good timing that they've received. And they do take the lead. Who will win this battle of Florida? Tom Brady once again responds. That Florida man is something else. Huge force fumble by Tampa in the red zone. Game changing stuff. Tom Brady driving down the field now quickly. Oh, look at him haul. Look at him haul down the field. Ryan Suckle misses a gimme. And Tampa holds on. 21-18, the first team to defend their land. We finally have a team defend its territory, and that is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking out the Miami Dolphins. A very close game, a huge game-changing force fumble by Tampa Bay's defense in the red zone in the final minute is really what cemented this win for them. Let's see if they can carry that momentum into future matches. Who will the spinner give us next? We have Tampa right again, back to back. Okay, let's see what direction Tampa will be going. Uh, they kind of have to verse Jacksonville, no matter what their position is. Uh, so we'll just say Jacksonville. Tampa versus Jacksonville. We have two battles of Florida in a row. Who will get this next game? Tampa Bay's got to be feeling good after defending their territory against Miami. Now they're using all those resources to attack the only other team in the state, and that is Jacksonville. Can Tampa Bay successfully take over all of Florida? Jacksonville with a huge first drive setting the tone here, but Tom Brady looks like he will respond. And unlike Jacksonville, Tampa Bay will kick in the extra point. And the defense does make a stop. Tampa Bay adds on a field goal to the lead, and that will wrap up the first half. 10-6, Tampa lead and the ball. Tampa makes it a two-possession game. Their defense also holding them down the fort. 24-6, this game is pretty much over as long as Tampa doesn't pull off the greatest choke drops since the Falcons in 2016. Looks like Tampa will hold on, 27-6, becoming the last team standing in Florida. Tampa Bay completes their complete Florida takeover as now they own the South. Tom Brady is once imposing his will on the rest of the NFL. As you can see, there are now less teams on the spinner. Who will be next to conquer some land? It's going to be Green Bay. Arrow spinning time. Let's see where they will be going. And it looks like they will be going to the west. Is there anything to the west of Green Bay? I think that's Minnesota, right? It is. We will have a divisional matchup. NFC, NFC North rivalry. Vikings-Packers coming up next. Once again, the attacking team has been much more successful so far today. Looks like we got a punt match so far. Minnesota looks like they'll score first. They do. They tack on a field goal to an early lead. Aaron Rodgers quickly responds with a touchdown, taking the lead. Fumble by Minnesota. Hail Mary by Rodgers? No. He usually is good at those. Not this game, though. Low-scoring game so far as we are in the third quarter. And Green Bay adds another field goal to their lead. Mason Crosby. They run the ball. Dalvin Cook adds it on to 
tie the game 10 to 10. 17 to 10, incomplete by Minnesota. They punt, questionable call. I would have gone for it. We don't put the ball in Aaron Rodgers' hands in this situation. And sure enough, he puts points on the board and cements the win for Green Bay as they take over Minnesota, a large territory. So the Packers take a huge win in Minnesota, conquering a lot of land, as you can see. Aaron Rodgers is running the table. Minnesota fans are probably very upset right now. I'm sorry you don't punt in that situation when Aaron Rodgers is on the other side of the field. You know what he's going to do. He's going to score. He's going to win them the game. If I'm Minnesota, I'm going for that play all day, every day. Once again, it's time to see what team the spinner gets us. It looks like it will be Cincinnati, Joe Burrow, and the Bengals. Where will they be advancing? It looks like they will be heading eastbound. Now, the spinner is slightly southeast, so it looks like they're going to be just south of Cleveland. And I think they'll actually be capturing the territory of West Virginia. So right now, the Bengals are avoiding conflict. They're just trying to expand their land to kind of better set themselves up for any conflicts they may face in the future. Smart move by the Cincinnati Empire. So that brings us to another wheel spin. What team will be conquering what team? Cincinnati again? Dude, this spinner's on something. After conquering extra land, Cincinnati's gonna waste no time and they're gonna go try to conquer whatever is to the southwest of them. And it looks like that is more land for Cincinnati. Cincinnati's playing chess, not checkers here. Cincinnati is really increasing their empire here without having to face any conflict. Very smart move, conservative. It's what you want in an empire. They'll make the big moves when they need to, but as of right now, they're taking what the country's giving them. So that brings us to once again, another spin. Will we actually have a battle or are these teams continuing to take territory? We have the Eagles yet again. We're getting a lot of the same teams here. Which way will the Eagles be moving? They'll be moving northwest. What team is that? It looks like Pittsburgh. We'll be having a Battle of Pennsylvania up next. The Battle of Pennsylvania. We have Philadelphia against Pittsburgh. The Eagles versus the Steelers. Fun fact is that these two teams actually used to be merged. In the 1940s, they were known as the Steagles, and that is because World War II was going on, and football players from both sides were serving in the war, so they had to combine both of their rosters to kind of make an NFL team, which I think is one of the cooler stats in the NFL. I always love that stat. It's a really cool thing to me. But obviously now, these two empires are complete rivals. They take the kingship of Pennsylvania very seriously, and we have a brawl right now, just a dogfight defensively. Three to three. And it will be six to three at the end of the first half. Both of these teams hate each other. They want each other's land. They're only scoring using field goals, but I think the Eagles will score a touchdown here as they are driving. Jalen Hurts with a very important drive there, and the Eagles defense comes up huge. Incomplete. Missed the kick. We have a dogfight here for Pennsylvania. Wow, they get stopped on a two-point conversion. Philly's driving. Can Jalen Hurts get a last second touchdown here to take kingship of Pennsylvania? He does. 12 seconds left. Can Pittsburgh get in field goal range? Airs it out. Game over. What a dogfight we have there. And Philadelphia is the king of Pennsylvania. So now the kings of Pennsylvania are the Philadelphia Eagles as Pittsburgh is defeated. Let's see what team is up next. Trying to conquer some more land here. We have the Atlanta Falcon. In what direction will Atlanta be conquering? We have down to the northwest. Let's see where that puts us. And it looks like that is just free claim territory for Atlanta. So they will be getting the state of Alabama. So the Atlanta Empire just playing it safe. Taking this large open territory of Alabama and adding it to their own. It is time for another team to get selected who will now be invading. We have the Green Bay Packers once again. Which direction here? It looks like to the west. And to the west of Green Bay, there is nobody. There is open territory and it looks slightly southwest. So they will be taking South Dakota here. Very smart move from the Green Bay Empire. They see all this open land 
and they will gladly take that for their own. So now it does look like Green Bay has the largest portion of land on the map. Kansas City probably holds control over the second most land, Seattle third, and then the list goes on. But the war ain't over. Who's going next? Who is trying to conquer another team? Packers again. The spinner loves Green Bay. Which direction is the spinner going? This time it looks like it is going northwest. And sure enough, to the northwest of Green Bay's territory, that is North Dakota. So Green Bay has just quickly captured both of the Dakotas, taking a large portion of land. They're really making a northern empire here. There's also plenty of extra open states that they do have room to conquer if they want to. Next team, is the spinner going to give us Green Bay again, or will we finally see a different empire trying to conquer? San Francisco, we will be in for a battle because they are surrounded by teams on every single side. Looks like they'll be trying to go northeast, and there's kind of two teams northeast of them, but since the majority of their body, northeast is actually the Raiders. Because I feel like the Raiders are a larger percentage northeast than Seattle is. So we will have a San Francisco-Las Vegas battle right here. We now have the battle of San Francisco and Las Vegas. What is going to happen here? These two empires actually used to be neighboring a couple years back. But the Raiders decided that Las Vegas was a more open territory and they decided to move to there. They now have full control over Nevada rather than that small portion of Oakland that they would have control of if they stayed put. San Francisco, though, getting some early points on the board. And a very strong first quarter, and they're going to add to their lead here. And they, Las Vegas is just giving it up. 24-0 already. They get on the board, but they're going to need much, much more than field goals. Once again, they're still only settling for field goals. San Francisco has had a very comfortable lead this entire game. This is the closest the game's been though, 10 points. San Francisco is probably going to end the game right here. And they do, Las Vegas had a better fourth quarter. But it just wasn't enough, it was too late. They put field goals on the board when they should have been putting on touchdowns. So San Francisco claims a huge portion of land. So the 49ers raid the Raiders, and they take all of this Nevada territory. And now they're starting to look like one of the front runners in this video as well. Who will be trying to conquer someone else's territory next? The spinner selects the Indianapolis Colts. I have to remove the Raiders really quickly to the spinner. I almost selected them. In what direction will the Colts be moving? It looks like they'll be going northwest, and if we look on the map, that is part of Kansas City territory. Indianapolis will be trying to pull off a huge upset here. Can they defeat one of the largest empires alive right now? Can Indianapolis pull a huge imperial upset on Kansas City? Once again, still only one defending empire has succeeded, and that is Tampa Bay. Can Patrick Mahomes change that? So far, Kansas City is getting it done on both sides of the field. Kansas City defense capitalizing again, but Mahomes throws a pick. Indianapolis is in the red zone. Wow. Huge turn of events here as Mahomes is literally throwing the game away. Now he drives. Huge touchdown with an extra point to put them up by one. Hail Mary throw. Kansas City survives, and they defend their territory by winning by one point. So Kansas City will be expanding to the east, taking control of all of this Indianapolis territory. This is a huge victory as now they're really taking control of the central part of the US. What team is due next to be expanding their territory? We have the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, which direction will the Ravens be going? It looks like they will be going south. It looks like the arrow is slightly going southeast. So if we look at our map here, that is the Washington Commanders. So we will have another matchup on our hands. The defending territories are starting to have a little bit more success today. However, Baltimore is much better than Washington. They score quickly. Baltimore gets possession immediately. Holy moly. 
21 points already. Right now, Lamar is having an absolute field day. 31 0. This is the most Washington experience we've had. 38 0. Washington finally driving, but it does not matter. A 38 0 victory for Baltimore. Baltimore absolutely pillages the land of DC. And if I remember correctly, they won by enough points where the dominance rule comes into play. So that means they get to take one extra territory due to how dominant they played in that one match. Usually for these, I'll just take an open territory because I don't want to start a whole other team battle. So they'll be taking the state of Virginia due to their insane dominance over the DC area. Carries over to Virginia. And now Baltimore is actually gaining a lot of this eastern coast. So now the Eastern U.S. is getting crowded. What team will we receive next? We have the Philadelphia Eagles, who will once again be expanding their territory. Which direction will the Eagles be traveling? It looks like to mostly the west. And that looks like they'll be facing the Cleveland Browns next to try to capture all that Cleveland territory. So Philadelphia will once again try to expand their land for, I think, the third time today. They drive immediately. This should be a pretty lopsided matchup as Cleveland just has nowhere the amount of talent that Philly has. Philly is already piling it on. Cleveland has to climb. 17-0 interception by Philly. Intercepted. They score a touchdown. Quarterback sacks. Philly. we have another dominant rule taken into account. So we have two very dominant wins in a row. And both of these wins were so large that the dominance rule comes into play. And now we're going to see Philly try to capture yet another territory. And because I don't want the dominance rule to be too overpowered, I feel like they should probably go against the smallest territory around them or capture whatever is the smallest land around them. It looks like that smallest territory would be considered the New York Giants. So they will be going against the New York Giants as Philly is making a huge power surge. Can Philadelphia continue their ridiculous conquering surge here? New York actually bites first here. But Jalen Hurts quickly ties the game up at seven. Giants with another touchdown. Looks like Eagles are going down the field now. We might have a shootout on our hands. Very high scoring first quarter, but the Giants do surprisingly have the lead. Could they take down this empire? Jalen Hurts goes back down, quickly scores a touchdown, but now it's Danny Dimes' turn to respond. Once again, Eagles are just driving down the field quickly. No defense. No defense in this game whatsoever. Incomplete Giants punt. Finally a defensive stop by a team. Huge sack by the Giants. That saves the game and keeps it one possession. And that will do it. They don't have enough time. The Giants actually gave the Eagles a good run for their money, but it was not enough. The New York Giants are no more as Philly conquers them, increasing their land. Not by much, but it's about getting another empire off the board. New York Giants were one of those sneak empires that could have offered a surprise attack to Philadelphia at any time, so it's good that they kind of have that insurance behind them that no team is making that surprise attack. But now we finally get a new team to see where they are going to be conquering. We have Cincinnati. Didn't we already get Cincinnati? This spinner just does not want to select some teams, I guess. Which direction will Cincinnati be going? It looks like they will be going to around the southwest, mostly south. And that brings us to the Tennessee Titans. A 2021 AFC Divisional rematch. We have Cincinnati in Tennessee trying to defeat the Titans here. Tennessee scores first and their defense does get a stop. Interception, huge defensive stop by Cincinnati and Joe Burrow is driving. Fumble, Cincinnati will capitalize, I'm guessing. Just a field goal. Surprised they did not attack on a touchdown there. 
and Tennessee runs out of time. They don't kick the field goal. They try to go for the touchdown, and that does not work out for them. They're lucky they get the ball back. Derrick Henry, touchdown. They could have the lead right now if their coaching was just a little bit smarter at the moment. But their defense comes up with a huge pick. Incomplete, they punt it. Cincinnati at the 50, tied up in the third quarter. We have a good dog fight here between these two teams. Joe Burrow. Joe Scheisse gets the job. Derrick Henry's driving. Touch down Tennessee. Are we going to have an overtime game? We are. Who will get ball first? It's very important. Looks like Cincinnati will have the ball first. Last time Cincinnati was in an overtime game, they beat Kansas City. Remember that. They get a sack. Tennessee midfield. Throw over the middle. Touchdown. Tennessee pulls off a crazy overtime upset against Cincinnati. This is probably only the first or second upset we've had today. I don't think anybody was seeing that upset coming, but we have the Tennessee Titans getting revenge for the divisional round two years ago. And they take all of this territory that Cincinnati spent multiple games trying to take over. Tennessee becoming a random powerhouse in this challenge. And it's probably the most unexpected win we've seen so far this video. Time to regroup ourselves after that huge upset. Which team will be going next? And it is the Arizona Cardinals. The direction of the Cardinals will be... Once again, it's kind of going to the south. I think I said west last time. I meant south. But this one's a little bit more southeast, so we'll go to the east. What is east of Arizona? And it actually looks like there is nothing east of Arizona. That is New Mexico. So Arizona will take over the land of New Mexico, expanding their empire eastward. So now it's time to see what other team we get who will be expanding Green Bay again. Which way will Green Bay be expanding their territory? It looks like they will be traveling to the Southwest and Southwest is actually unclaimed Iowa. So Green Bay, once again, just kind of capitalizing over all this open land they have next to them. Which team will be gaining more land next or trying to gain more land? We have Detroit. Detroit is surrounded by a team on all sides. So which way will they be going? It looks like they'll go to the team which is closest northeast to them. I don't think we've established that these teams could travel by boat, so let's spin again. If they could travel by boat, then they'd be going against Buffalo. But they're Lions. Lions can't swim. Nothing north of them. Come on, give us something. There we go. It looks like that is actually Philadelphia. So we have two teams with pretty big land trying to conquer each other right now. Can Detroit conquer the Philadelphia Empire? I believe this is the first time Philadelphia is actually defending their land. Usually they're the attacking team, but this time we have Detroit attacking Philadelphia. Philadelphia with a solid start, but Detroit will respond and take the lead here. Philadelphia driving quickly. Jalen Hurts. Short. Gutsy call by Nick Sirianni going for it on fourth down, but they convert. Philadelphia is driving yet again. But they throw a pick. A lot of land on the line here. Philadelphia has conquered a lot of land in the region by taking out those, re those near empires to them. And they get a huge defensive stop. Pass and play, incomplete, field goal is good. Detroit needs a touchdown in 24 seconds from their own 17. Hail Mary, no good. Philadelphia will be taking the entirety of Michigan. A close match between these two teams, but it does not matter in the long run. Philadelphia now is becoming one of the teams with the most land on the map. Detroit looked like they might have had a chance in the beginning of the game. They had a solid start, but Philadelphia's firepower was just too much in the long run for Detroit. Who will be the next team to try to conquer and expand their empire? Buffalo Bills for the first time today. Which direction will Buffalo be going? Looks like they'll be going to the northeast, and actually that is unclaimed Vermont. So Buffalo will actually be taking a freebie state right here in Vermont. One of the smaller states, but hey, land is land. Now they're starting to circle their empire around the New England empire. The New England empire is under leadership of Bill Belichick, and he has a very interesting strategy here. It looks like he's trying to lay low to avoid conflict and to try to survive as long as he can to maybe wage a sneak attack upset in the very end. We'll see if that works. We know Bill Belichick's a mastermind. Can he do it here? Time to see what other team is up for conquering. Eagles again? No, the LA Chargers for the first time today. 
who will the LA Chargers be going up against? It looks like they will be going up against the other California team, San Francisco 49ers. So let's see that match play out. We have the battle for California here. Los Angeles with much less land, but can they pull off a historic upset against San Francisco? They do score first, but Brock Purdy is driving. San Francisco trying to expand the lead. They do. But the Chargers do get the ball after half, and I think they will take the lead here. They do a one-point lead into the fourth quarter for the Chargers. San Francisco retakes the lead of the field goal, and they get a huge defensive stop. That San Francisco defense is very scary. Airs it out. Hail Mary. Last play of the game. Touchdown. Los Angeles Chargers win it on a Hail Mary by Justin Herbert overthrowing the San Francisco 49ers. An absolute crazy upset by the California little brother, the Chargers, as they now take all of San Francisco's land and they are now the kings of California. A crazy ending to the game. Retro Bowl script writers are going insane. But now all this land is Chargers territory. Huge play. I can't believe the Chargers won it on a Hail Mary. That is insane. So yeah, now the Chargers are emerging as one of the teams to be in the league now. Look at all the land that they possess. I think as far as land mass goes, they might be second only behind Green Bay. Okay, Spinner, give us our next team. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We have not seen them for quite a bit, actually. And as you can see, the only attack that they could do right here is on the Atlanta Falcons. So let's run that game right now. Tampa Bay going up against Atlanta. Atlanta does have more land than Tampa Bay. However, I feel like Tampa Bay's army is still stronger, especially with the GOAT at the position. And Atlanta is turning the ball over quickly. Atlanta's driving. They scored the other way. Hail Mary. Tom Brady, the Hail Mary champ. I'm just saying that's Aaron Rodgers, but still, Scotty Miller vibes at the very end of the first half, 21-7. Incomplete. Tampa Bay will be going the other way. 28 points. Oh, I'm sure Atlanta is very familiar with the number 28. Sadly, they're in the opposite side of the situation. Could they do a reverse Super Bowl 51 comeback? The Falcons just can't seem to escape Tom Brady and the number 28. But now it's 34 to 7, short of the first down. We could possibly see the dominance rule taking a place here with this field goal. It's good. 37 to 7, that is a 30 point victory. So not only does Tom Brady once again humiliate the Falcons, Tampa Bay will also be able to conquer one more neighboring region. So Tampa Bay will gain control over all of this Alabama and Georgia territory. They'll also choose for their dominance rule to pick South Carolina. As for the dominance rule, once again, I'm gonna do the smallest region possible as to not make it too overpowered, but they will have another solidly sized state to add to their arsenal. So now, as we can see, Tampa Bay is starting to emerge as one of the other powerhouses. Wheel, give us our next team, Green Bay again. In which direction will Green Bay be heading? It looks like they'll be going to the Northwest. Let's look at the map. And it looks like that's around Montana area. So once again, Green Bay is capitalizing off of all of this open land that they have next to their empire, as they clearly right now have the most land out of any team. But now it's time to see what other opposing empire will be advancing. Green Bay again. Dude, this spinner is absolutely cracked. Which direction will Green Bay be going? Arrow, please guide us. Uh, to the northwest again, which I guess we'll go with Idaho. They'll be conquering Idaho as well here. Look at Green Bay, man. So inspirational. All this land that they've been conquering is just insane, and they really haven't even gone through that much conflict. They've only battled one team, and that was Minnesota very early on, but besides that, they've kind of just been reclaiming all this territory due to the good spawn location that they have. Green Bay's got pretty good RNG right now, let's just say that. Honestly, I would not mind if Green Bay wins this. Houston? No, New Orleans. Well, we have the first matchup for New Orleans here. Time to see what direction they'll be going. They're going to the Northwest, and I'd say that's probably Upper Texans territory. We'll have a battle here between Houston and New Orleans. OK, 
Okay, Houston, New Orleans. Two teams that have not seen any action yet today. I think it'll be a pretty close game. I think New Orleans will get the dub because they are a better team, but I think it'll be a close one. New Orleans scores early. Houston punts it. They're driving again. A quick 14 nothing lead for New Orleans, and Houston punts it yet again. This game might already be over, ladies and gentlemen. New Orleans with a 17-point lead entering the second half. Now it is a 24-point lead. Houston was driving, but they throw a pick. New Orleans. Right now, can we see a dominance rule be in place? It looks like we will. 37-0. New Orleans with a dominant victory. And a dominant victory equals a dominant rule. New Orleans absolutely crushed the Texans. And the other state that they'll be taking over is Mississippi here. So that is some nice territory ad for New Orleans, as now that really puts them on the map with their dominant win. The Arizona Cardinals. Which direction will they be going, good old spinner? They'll be going to the west to go against the LA Chargers. This should be a good one. And this might be the largest territory battle that we've seen so far. Okay, we have a western battle here between these two large territories. The largest territory battle we have had so far. The Chargers have a great amount of territory and the Cardinals as well. And the Cardinals are the first one down the board with a field goal. Now they're driving. Cardinals. Incomplete. But they do get another field goal. Chargers can take the lead here. And they do. Justin Herbert delivers. Huge throw by Kyle Murray. Touchdown! Right before the half, a huge touchdown that changes the course of the game. Running play short of the first down. It's Arizona. They're really riding off that momentum from that Hail Mary at the end of the first half. Chargers get a score for Arizona. They get another score, and that might do the game. Incomplete. Huge throw, but it's too late. The Chargers do end up dropping this game. Arizona will be taking all of that territory. So now we have a huge exchange of land as Arizona takes all that Chargers territory. On to our next matchup, we have the Buffalo Bills once again. Which direction will they be heading? Looks like to the northeast. That is actually the state of New Hampshire. So once again, Buffalo is kind of just surrounding this territory around New England. All these other New England states here. As a New England Patriots fan, I'm not liking how this is going, but hey. I'm just happy that they're still in this challenge, because if they face a team-on-team -team combat, they're getting crushed by all the teams around them. So just stay alive for as long as you can, New England. Okay, now with them conquering New Hampshire, it's time to see what other team will make a move next. The Tennessee Titans. Now, if you remember, the Titans actually had a huge upset on Cincinnati, and it looks like they will be heading to the Northeast against Baltimore. A two-time playoff rematch with the 2020 and 2019 season. So let's see if Tennessee can pull off a successful invasion of Baltimore. We have the battle between Tennessee and Baltimore. Let's see who can conquer each other's land here. Tennessee starts off with a quick touchdown, but they do miss the extra point, and Lamar is driving. Baltimore takes the lead. Justin Tucker doesn't miss, miss kicks, ladies and gentlemen. He does not miss. Tennessee possession. They have to settle for a field goal, but they do get the lead. Ravens going for it in their own territory, and they get sacked. That is the most John Harwell play call ever, and it blows up in their face. Tennessee capitalizes. Good lead. Quarterback airs it out. Lamar with the last second touchdown before the half. We've had a lot of these happen throughout this video. A lot of last second touchdowns happen. Lamar just did one. But Tennessee makes the lead nine. Two possessions, but Lamar is driving. Once again, Justin Tucker does not miss any kicks, ladies and gentlemen. It's only a two-point game. Running play. Short of the first down, they have to punt. Lamar, what can you do here? Touchdown. They go for two. They score. Tennessee in their own half. Huge throw for the game. No good. Baltimore holds on and takes control of Tennessee. So Baltimore will now take this very sizable portion of Tennessee land. Baltimore is becoming one of the mainline teams in this challenge. 
Okay, Spinner, which team will be participating next in conquering this land? Ironically, the Baltimore Ravens, who have just came from beating Tennessee. Which direction will they be moving? They will be moving to the southeast against Carolina. This is a very winnable game for Baltimore. We'll see what happens here. I do not think that this will be a close game, but we'll see if Carolina can pull off an upset here. Baltimore is a powerful team right now. They're riding off with a lot of momentum after capturing Tennessee. And they score a quick touchdown. Incomplete Carolina punts again in Baltimore's drive. And Lamar is in his zone. 14-0. Incomplete Carolina punts. Baltimore driving. End of first half. Baltimore just goes down. We get a touchdown. We get a sack. Great position. 28-0 Baltimore. Interception. 34-0. Incomplete Carolina punt. The game is now 40-0, ladies and gentlemen. And Justin Tucker hits the field goal just to add himself to the injury. And you know what that means. Dominance rule. So the Ravens overtake Carolina in a very emphatic win. The biggest win we've had so far. Like I said, they have the dominance rule due to their win being above 30 points, and they will take the smallest portion of land, and that is Arkansas. So look at the Ravens taking some of the Midwest. So that is definitely something to keep an eye out for. Baltimore now has a lot of land, and they have become a true contender in this video. What will the next team be? As you can see, there's very little teams on the wheel now. We have Tampa Bay once again, and if we look at our map, it's either New Orleans or Baltimore. So we'll just go with whatever the arrow is closest to, no matter even if it's on the complete opposite side. It is going to the east, and that is closer to Baltimore. So we will have a Tampa-Baltimore battle. Baltimore has been involved in a plethora of conflicts recently. They've overtaken lands like Tennessee, Carolina, much others. Can they take care of Tampa Bay? They start off with a field goal, and their defense gets to stop as well. And right now, Justin Tucker is hitting everything. Vegas a touchdown. I'm going to take the lead. Right now it's Justin Tucker versus the Buccaneers. End of the first half. Baltimore's got the lead. Tom Brady driving right now. Fumble. Recovered by Baltimore and they're going the other way. Justin Tucker masterclass we are witnessing right now. Tom Brady will score a touchdown. And Lamar finally manages to score a touchdown on the offensive side. Brady ties it up. Are we going into overtime? Huge throw final play of the game. Overtime. Tampa Bay starts off with the ball. Samson was too slow. Brady's driving right now. Brady is known for these overtime wins. Can he do it? He can. Tampa Bay continues their conquest by dominating the eastern seaboard. An absolute huge win by Tampa Bay. And now look at all this land that they're about to claim. They now easily have the most sea coast out of any team in the league. It looks like they have the second most land only behind Green Bay, so Tampa has really emerged as one of the greater teams in this video. It's time to see who our next team will be. And it is going to be Buffalo once again. Let's see what direction they will be going. There is nothing in that direction of Buffalo, so let's spin again. Buffalo will be going southwest to go against the powerhouse Philadelphia Eagles. Now we have the battle of Buffalo and Philadelphia, two crazy teams with crazy fan bases. And these are actually the only two teams that Retrieval has as a five-star offense and five-star defense. So this could be the most talented matchup we have in this entire video. Every side of the ball on both teams is five stars. There's a lot of defense going on here, a lot of punting. Huge sack, 7-0, very quiet dogfight of a first half between these two teams. It's also worth noting, you might see a lot of the same players' names on the screen. That's because this is like the beta version of the new update. Not everything is all fleshed out and everything, so a lot of the players are repetitively generated. So obviously, during the Retro update, that might be different. They might actually contain names of the players on the teams. It might not do the copyright, but I'm not sure. They still might not do to copyright reasons and like name usage. 
but we got a game here. Enough of me, enough of me talk about the repetitiveness of the players. 6-14, Buffalo's got to go for it here. Running play, forces a fumble, that's going to do it. That is going to do it. A low-scoring game, 17-6. Both defenses showed out today, but Philadelphia gets the one against Buffalo. Philadelphia now takes over all of this Buffalo territory that you see. They're now really controlling the Northeast here. The Patriots are the only other team that kind of stand in their way, but the Patriots are very weak right now. They haven't been doing anything all day. Maybe the Patriots could surprise everybody and get one of those fluky random upsets that Retro Bowl generates. If these two empires face in conflict, I say there's probably like a 95% chance that Philadelphia wins. But there goes the Buffalo Bills promising dynasty. Who will the spinner choose next? We only have a couple remaining teams on this spinner. Let's see who it selects. And it will be the Patriots. Will the Patriots get more New England land or will they have to face Philadelphia? Let's see, that looks like it is south. I think that's Philly, guys. It actually is not. They have a security cushion here with Connecticut. So New England will actually be taking Connecticut's territory. Their own little tiny baby empire here. Looks like the spinner will have to select another team for us. Who will it be? The New Orleans Saints. It looks like the Saints are going to go against Tampa or Dallas, or the rare chance that the spinner lands in that exact spot to conquer Oklahoma. But it does look like, for the most part, this is heading in the way of Dallas. And I actually believe that this is Dallas's first conflict. They've kind of been quiet, just like the Patriots. They haven't really been spun on, and no teams have attacked them. Dallas is finally participating in a battle. What can they do? They have a good defensive stop, but they lose the ball immediately. New Orleans going down the other side of the field. This is the first on the board. Can Dallas tie it up? Yes, they can. 7-7. They missed the 63-yarder. Good defense by Dallas there. And Dallas will take the lead before the end of the first half. Dallas will punt. New Orleans defense makes a great stop, but they intercept it. And Dallas has a comfortable 10-point lead going into the fourth. New Orleans needs this. And they do get it. Dallas. They could end the game here with a touchdown. Fumble. This could be huge. Hail Mary throw. Game over. What a game. Not too much scoring. Good defensive battle. That fumble could have changed the game completely. So right now, Dallas is dominating the South. New Orleans had a solid portion of land, but now Dallas is overtaking them. Their strategy of laying low and trying to pull off some upsets is working out for them so far. Saints are now off the board. Who will the spinner choose next to conquer some land? And we got Kansas City. We have not heard from Kansas City in a while. They've been busy developing their empire. In which direction will they go? Looks like they will be going to the west, maybe a little bit southwest. It's either Oklahoma or it's Denver. So how about this? We'll spin it again. And if it's on the left side, it's Denver. Right side, Oklahoma. It is on the left side, so that means that they will be going up against Denver in the next matchup. We haven't heard from Denver either. I think Denver has been a team that has not played yet. We have Denver's first involvement in the war here. Let's see if they can overtake some of Kansas City's land as Kansas City is aggressively, aggressively pushing westbound. Kansas City does punt. Low scoring game so far. Denver. Denver's the first to score here. What can Mahomes do? He'll respond with a field goal. They are just trading field goals right now. 58-yard field goal. Last play of the half. No good. Mahomes, he's driving. 10-6. Chiefs defense capitalizes, but then Broncos defense right back at them. Russell Wilson driving down the field. And Denver has the lead in this game. Interception. Kansas City. Field goal. Ties it up. 13-13. Russell Wilson intercepts it overtime crazy game that interception clutched up for kansas city because they would have lost if that interception did not happen denver does get the ball what can they do here fumble huge fumble kansas city has it mahomes driving downfield kansas city wins a closer than expected game with multiple turnovers that completely changed the course of that game and they are now advancing westward so now kansas city will be taking all of this land in colorado a huge change for the league as Kansas City continues to be one of the powerhouses. Now as you can see the map is really starting to come into place with just these large teams with large colonies. I also just realized that I did not fully get rid of Baltimore's head so what are you still doing here little boy? 
Which team will be next to advance? We have the Philadelphia Eagles. What will the outcome be? Looks like they will expand into Maine as they are going northeast. Now they have New England fully surrounded against the coast. So New England really has no choice to expand but to go through Philadelphia. So I think their time is almost coming to a close here. It's time to spin yet again what team will be advancing. We got Kansas City once again. Kansas City still has some land to advance in, so we'll see what goes on here. And actually, it looks like they'll be facing Tampa Bay. Two large colonies, Super Bowl 55 rematch. Who will win, Mahomes or Brady? Arguably the most hyped matchup so far, we have Brady versus Mahomes. The iconic, iconic matchup between the past and the future. Mahomes scores first with a touchdown, but Tampa Bay responds, but Tampa Bay responds with a field goal. Another touchdown is added by Mahomes. Brady responds and gets the two-point conversion, and it will be Brady's ball. Suck up misses the field goal. 14-11. And Mahomes makes them pay, making it a two-possession game. And Brady with a deep passing touchdown to make it 21-18. We have a great game on our hands. The team dominating Central U.S. versus the team dominating Southeast U.S. Mahomes driving down the field, touchdown, that could be it. Fourth down, they throw the ball, quarterback is sacked. That is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest of all time has been overthrown, and his army falls into the hands of Kansas City. Now Kansas City not only has central territory, but they are now expanding southeast and have the most coastline out of any empire. That was a massive victory for Kansas City as look at all this land they'll be taking from Tampa Bay. Kansas City right now could easily be considered the favorite with all this land they have as well as just the star power they have on their roster. The Buccaneers great run is off the board as now we only got a couple teams left. And it's about time we've heard from Green Bay. They've been quiet developing their large empire. Let's see what direction they will be expanding. They could expand to more land too. That looks like they will be going to the west. And that is a battle against Seattle. That has a nice ring to it. A 2019 divisional rematch, a 2014 conference championship rematch, the Fail Mary rematch. These two empires have a lot of history behind them, but let's see who can get the victory. If I remember correctly, this is Seattle's first encounter. They conquered Oregon because it was a vacant region, but I don't think they've actually clashed against another empire before. So here they are against Green Bay. And Seattle's got a great 10-0 lead on Green Bay right now. Seattle is on upset watch. Green Bay does respond and there is an interception before half that does not matter, but Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers is running the table. And Green Bay quickly retakes the lead and now might add another touchdown to the lead. Going for it on fourth down, go for the pass, completed. Huge conversion for Seattle. They need this. They get it. And they don't try an onside. Interesting choice by Seattle. And that might have cost them the game. So now, as you can see, Green Bay will be receiving all of this land as well. They already had a bunch of North Territory, but now they are starting to expand Northwest. Aaron Rodgers is running the table, and he's telling all Green Bay citizens to relax. He's got this. Back to the spinner we go, and now there's only six teams left. Who will be moving? And it will once again be Green Bay. What will their direction be? So a little bit southeast of them is actually Kansas City, so the State Farm Bowl. We have the battle of the two largest territories right now. The winner of this would get a huge boost. Green Bay, Kansas City, Kansas City. Green Bay fumbles, but Kansas City punts right after. Right now we have a defensive match. Scoreless first quarter. Kansas City has another 10 running play. Touch down Isaiah Pacheco. 7 0. Green Bay has to punt. Mahomes driving. 14 0. What's Green Bay going to do here? They're going to drive. They're going to score. They're going to keep it a game. Interception Green Bay. Interception Kansas City. And now they will be punting. A lot of turnovers, a lot of changes of possession here. Can Aaron Rodgers tie it up? Can he run the table? 
tied up in the fourth between these two great empires. Harrison Butker, 60 yard field goal, and there's a fumble. Green Bay just fumbled their hopes away of winning it. 14 24 Kansas City now becomes the favorite. An absolute massive victory for Kansas City as look at how much their land is going to expand here. Their land increases by more than two times. But Kansas City ends up winning the Battle of State Farm. And then there were five. Let's see what team the spinner selects. It will be the Eagles. Will the Eagles go up against New England or Kansas City? This is really just a right-left thing. They are going right to New England as you can see by the map. Philly, New England. Two hated fan bases. Which one will come out? Obviously, Philadelphia is so much more powerful. But are we in for an upset? Philadelphia versus New England. Obviously, if New England wins this, it'd be a huge upset. And somehow, this is New England's first game playing today. Philadelphia with a quick drive, interception. And they score again. For the first time, New England will have to punt, and Philly is driving again. Quick start for Philly. 17 points in a very quick span. And yeah, somehow New England went all this time without going up against anybody. 17-3. It's really showing now. And New England just seems so unprepared here as their offense is doing nothing. It's sputtering compared to this strong Philly empire. Philly adds on another field goal, 20-3. Incomplete Philadelphia punt. New England needs something here if they want to win. But Mac Jones throws an interception. Philadelphia has to lead 27-3. Philadelphia could get a dominant rule this late in the game. Touchdown, 34-3. That is the game, and due to the dominance rule, Philly will be going up against Kansas City next. So anybody could have predicted Philadelphia winning that game. However, what's crazy is that they do gain access to the dominance rule after such an impressive win. I personally was not even thinking that we would see a dominance rule this late into simulation, but here we are. And next up, we will have Philly versus Kansas City which also manages to be the Super Bowl matchup happening this weekend, or this past weekend if I upload this after the Super Bowl. We have the most anticipated matchup, we have the most anticipated matchup so far, Super Bowl 57 preview. At the time of recording this, the Super Bowl has not happened yet, but due to how much editing this video is gonna take, I probably will release it the week after the Super Bowl. So at this point in time, I have no idea who's gonna win the Super Bowl. My prediction is probably Kansas City, the team has more experience in the Super Bowl. Philly's roster from when they went is very different. They only have, I want to say, four players from the existing Super Bowl 52 team. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Jason Kelsey, and maybe Lane Johnson was on the team. I don't know. But I feel like Kansas City Super Bowl is much more recent. They have a more competent quarterback. And they're more battle-tested. Kansas City's schedule this season has been much more difficult. And therefore, I think Philly's going to have a tougher time kind of advancing to this most difficult team that they've versed all season. So right now, Philly is driving. It's worth noting that Philadelphia has a higher rating than Kansas City due to retro, so they're actually the more talented team. However, Kansas City does look like they're coming back. Huge missed field goal, but a fumble, but an interception, but an interception! They do kick the field goal. That was an interesting span of plays there. They have to go for it on fourth down. Wise choice. They convert. Clutch conversion. Throw the down. Include. They got to go for it again. Airs it out. No good. Philadelphia gets all of the land from Kansas City. And the favorite to be the last empire standing is taken down. So look at how much land Philadelphia gets off of this game. I'm not necessarily sure that this is considered an upset because Retro Bowl does have Philadelphia ranked higher than Kansas City. Philadelphia has a five-star offense and defense, and I believe Kansas City has a five-star offense but a three-and-a-half-star defense. So that definitely had some part to play in that game. I might remake this video next time where the more land you have, the more your team is upgraded. I actually wanted to do that originally, but there's no way in Retro Bowl to add stars to your team. There's no way to edit the amount of stars that a team has, so maybe that's something that we see in a future update and if so i'm definitely doing this challenge and using that effect i don't think that this will be the super bowl result i actually think kansas city is going to win the super bowl 
I'm rooting for Philly just as a Patriots fan. I want to see Brady's GOAT status prolonged, and I don't want to see Mahomes approach it because I'm sick of people putting Mahomes on the same level as Brady. But yeah, I still like Mahomes. I still love his talent, his play style. It's great. I just want Brady to continue being the king. And see which of these three teams will be making a move. Looks like we have the Dallas Cowboys. So will Dallas expand their land, go against Philly, or go against Arizona? Only this wheel will find out. And it looks like they will be heading westbound. And they will be going up against Arizona. So the winner of this game will then be paired against Philadelphia to see who will conquer the entire United States region and become the largest empire and being the last team standing. Arizona versus Dallas, Battle of the West. Who will win and who will go up against the crazy big empire of Philadelphia? We will see. Arizona is the first team to put points on the board. Dallas driving the other direction. And they tie it up 7-7. Dallas defense also gets a stop on top of that. Dallas gets another touchdown. Arizona goes for it. Gutsy, gutsy call to go for it on fourth. But they get a touchdown right before the half expires. They do miss the extra point, but Arizona has the ball. And they do get the two-point conversion, 21-14. to Dallas going the other way with it. Can they tie it up? Common Brett Maher miss. Common Brett Maher miss. Brett Maher is just not good at kicking kicks, and sure enough, miss, it bites him in the butt too, and he misses a field goal. That could have made this game very different. Arizona, other way, touchdown. That might cement the game. Interception, Arizona ends it on a pick, and we will have a battle of the bird empires, Arizona versus Philadelphia. So Arizona gets a very solid win over Dallas. And now the final battle for Imperial Reign is set. It will be Arizona against Philadelphia. There are some unclaimed lands, so the two closest to Arizona will be going to Arizona and the two closest to Philly to Philly. Here's the final image of the map before the big battle. Obviously, Philly not only has more land, but they have a higher Retro Bowl rating, so they are definitely going to be the favorites in this challenge. Will they reign supreme and become the last team standing, creating a nationwide empire? Or will the Cardinal Empire pull off a miraculous upset that shocks everybody? It all comes down to this, the battle of the final two empires. Both of them happen to be bird empires. Arizona attacks first as they get an opening drive touchdown, 7-0. The Eagles are the huge favorites here with the fact that they have the better Retro Bowl ranking and so much more land. Their territory is much bigger than the Cardinals' territory, and nobody is picking the Cardinals to win this one. But the Cardinals do start out with a strong 10-0 lead. I also, made the, I also made the quarter length three minutes per quarter to increase the action because this is the longest battle yet. Jalen Hurts scores a touchdown, making it 7-10, and Jalen Hurts is driving down the field quickly again. And Philly takes the lead. Will Arizona somehow upset this dominant empire of Philadelphia. Or will Philadelphia prove supreme to their power? The first half is all tied up 17 to 17. We already have an action packed game between these two teams. Okay. Jalen Hurts driving down the field. Touchdown 24 17. Arizona. Answers back with the miss. A crucial extra point to tie the game up. And it's intercepted by Arizona. But they punt. Tyler Murray can't do anything with the ball. Now Jalen Hurts is driving once again. And they get the extra point. They're going for it on fourth down. Smart move and they convert it. They're going for it on fourth down again. And they run the ball. Bold move and they get it. It works out. It's still just a one possession game. Can they get the two point conversion? Yes. 31-31. Philadelphia punts the ball. Arizona midfield. Huge sack by Philadelphia. And they have it in midfield. They choose to kick the field goal immediately and they get it. Bold move, but it works out. Airs it out, final play of the game. And it is over. Philadelphia 
is the empire that rules over all. And after a very valiant effort by Arizona, Philadelphia now owns complete empirical reign over the US. Man, the Retro Bowl script writers had a field day that game. There was some crazy games happening, but that game was definitely the craziest and somehow it happens on the biggest stage. Sadly, Arizona did not take an upset. I think everybody who's watching this video probably wanted Arizona to win. And same here, I was kind of pushing for them. But Philadelphia now is the empire of the USA. They successfully are the last team standing out of everybody. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was a very fun but long video to make. Definitely worth it though. Or put any other video suggestions down in the comments. You know I always listen to your guys' video suggestions. So what videos do you want to see next on Eli Plays or Heaps? I think I'm uploading this video to both channels because it's gaming and sports, so I might as well. If there's any major Retro Bowl updates, I'm definitely willing to do this again. If this video turns out to be very successful, I'll definitely do another one of these because these are fun to make, they're fun to watch. I hope Retro Bowl makes an update where you can actually edit the team's ratings because then every single time a team captured a land, I would have increased their ratings so their land mass actually has something to do with their performance. But still, it was kind of a fun visual representation of how it worked out. And there you have it, now with this thing all colored in, the Eagles now reign supreme over the USA.